Charles G. Adderton, like all males in New Hampshire between the ages of 18 and 45. Adderton was a member of the state militia serving in the Lafayette Reflemin 5th Regiment as a lieutenant in 1827 and as captain in 1828. Congress approved them on December 12, 1838. Several similar resolutions and eventually a standing house rule approved by Congress from 1835 to 1840, but that Adderton Gat was the only one of them to be named after its creator. John Greenleaf Whittier, poet and advocate of the abolition of slavery in the United States, referred to him as vile and shifty and wrote poems making reference to both Atherton and Gag, which frustrated Whittier and all the other abolitionists as it curtailed any open debate in Congress on the subject. Atherton delivered a speech on the 12 million loan bill in the House of Representatives on Monday, July 12, 1841. During the third session of the 25th United States Congress, Atherton lodged with a Mrs. Essa Hill in Alexandria, Virginia, which was almost opposite to the Gadsby's Tavern, which housed ten representatives, all from pro-slavery states, who would have looked for any opportunity to lobby their cause. Whatever Atherton's reasons, his late grandfather, Joshua Atherton, as an early ardent anti-slavery campaigner, would have vehemently objected to the creation of a GAD rule. After winning his election bid, Atherton was elected to the United States Senate as a Democrat in 1843, replacing Leonard Wilcox and served from March 4, 1843 to March 3, 1849. In the Senate, Atherton served as chairman of the Committee on Printing, the Committee on Roads and Canals, and the Committee on Finance. Pierce had anticipated making Atherton his spokesman in the Senate at the start of his presidency. However, Atherton had died unexpectedly. Atherton died suddenly from pulmonary tuberculosis in Manchester, New Hampshire, on November 15, 1853. Afri 390 Fartnanin.